Hello friends, today we are going to understand how circumferential stress as well as longitudinal stress for thin cylindrical cell is going to be calculated. Now, according to the given data, we have given a thin cylindrical cell which is subjected to pressure of 20 Newton per mm square. It means that we have given a pressure value on thin cylindrical cell as 20 newton per mm square now next data is having diameter as 150 mm with 10 mm thick wall it means that we have given the thickness of the wall as a 10 mm now we have given the diameter as a 150 mm and we have to calculate circumferential as well as longitudinal stress in the cell consider all possibilities now see First of all, we have given only diameter as a 150 mm. It means that if we consider diameter as a outer to outer diameter or we can assume the inner to inner diameter. These are the cases arise when only diameter is given. So, case 1 is small d as a 150 mm and in this case, 150 mm is inner to inner dimension and according to the theory we have to take small d as a outer to outer diameter it means that we have assumed 150 mm as a inner to inner dimension so we have to add small t in both the direction hence for second case our d value which is equal to 150 plus it means inner to inner dimension plus 2 times the thickness so 2 into t now thickness is given as 10 mm so for second condition we have small d as a 170 mm so whenever the diameter is given and if we have to consider all possibility then first we are assuming outer to outer dimension and in second case, we are assuming inner to inner plus 2 times the thickness as a small d. Now, for the first case, our d value is 150 mm. Hence, first of all, if we consider circumferential stress, or we can say that hoop stress, then our equation is p d by twice time thickness and it is indicated as sigma c so pressure is given as 20 newton per mm square diameter in this case as a 150 divided by twice the thickness as a 10 mm so solving this term we will have 150 in terms of newton per mm square similarly if we calculate the longitudinal stress it is indicated at sigma l and according to theory it is pd by 40 or we can directly put the half of the sigma c as a longitudinal stress if we consider both the equation or we can solve by putting the values as 20 small d as a 150 divided by 4 into thickness as a 10 and value is 75 newton per mm square or we can say that one half of 150 or one half of sigma c now for second case if we calculate circumferential stress so sigma c is equal to pd by 2t in this case p is 20 but small d is 170 instead of 150 so 170 by 2 into t so our value is 170 newton per mm square similarly sigma l which can be written as sigma c by 2 or pd by 4 t so p value is 20 d as a 170 4 is constant and t as a 10 so our value is 85 newton per mm square so 
if diameter is given and considering both the case our value for circumferential as well as longitudinal stress is as shown in the example and we can say that if we consider outer to outer dimension then our both the stress is minimum with comparison to inner to inner dimension thank you